In the last video, we saw how we can crash a project. However, as you noticed, that we were going about the process arbitrarily. Now, let us try to make this problem a linear programming problem and solve it using Excel so that we get an optimized solution and the best solution possible for a situation. So now here we are in Excel. So I have planted the same network that I presented in the slides in the previous video. So you can see the durations and the activities and the crash time, etc. Now let's first of all try to convert this into a net linear programming problem. Now you notice that I calculated the ES, EF, LS, LF and the total duration is coming to 36. So this cell basically is telling that it is pointing to this cell and it is showing the total duration of the project. So that's what it is. And we will calculate the reduced duration through linear programming and the reduced duration it may be in decimals so i will take a ceiling of that to make it a round figure and basically the difference between the normal duration and the reduced duration will be the amount of time we will crash so the amount of time we will crash by into the crash slope gives me the total crash cost that is B2, that is a normal duration, minus H2, that is a reduced duration, gives me the amount of time by which I will reduce the duration of a pro of a activity and multiply that by the crash slope to get the total cost of the crash. So once I have the cost of all the crash costs, I can sum them up and I'll get the total crash cost. So our objective will be that we want to is to minimize the duration. How do we minimize the duration? We will minimize the duration by changing the, by changing the values of the durations of each of the activities. And while doing that, we will ensure that our network constraints are kept as it is because its predecessors are maintained the way it should be and also we will notice that the duration should be such that it should be greater than or equal to the minimum duration possible and it should be less than or equal to the maximum duration possible. That is the normal duration will be the maximum duration and the minimum duration is calculated based on the fact that I can crash each activity by the crash amount, crash time which is given to me. So minimum duration is nothing but dura normal duration minus the maximum crash time possible on an activity. So now let us set up the linear programming problem. The linear programming problem can be set up in Excel using solver. So here we go to solver. So first thing what I have to do is that I have to tell him my objective function. My objective function is that this project duration I want to minimize. So I have told that the project duration I want to minimize. Project duration is in C10. So I want to minimize that. And I will change the variables in the cells G2 to G7. This contains the durations of my individual activities. Now I have to subject them to some constraints. So what are my constraints? The constraints are that the durations can be within this bracket. That is greater than minimum duration and less than maximum duration. So I will have to add these as my constraints. So let's add them. So I say that my duration has to be less than or equal to the maximum duration and my duration has to be greater than or equal to the minimum duration. I have to do this for all the six activities. We have only six activities in our case. If there are more activities, you need to do them for all the activities. So it has to be less than or equal to the maximum duration for B and it has to be greater than or equal to the minimum duration of B. So I have to do this for the next activity, activity C. Next for activity D.
activity E next. Notice that initially I have given the crash duration as equal to the normal duration. So I can start from this point and then see whether we can reduce the durations or not. So we come to activity F, that is it has to be less than the normal duration and this has to be greater than or equal to the minimum duration. So now I have all my constraints. So you can see that I have put my constraints, that is it has to be less than or equal to the normal duration and greater than or equal to the minimum duration that we have calculated. We can just verify this, that is B2, B3, B4, This is a mistake, so I will change this. This has got to be G. So now we have B2, B3, B4, G5, G6, G7. So we have all our constraints in place. Now I can make the solving method as evolutionary and I can say solve for this problem. So let's see what the solution we get. So now Excel is making the calculation. This normally will take time. Now, using Excel on the cloud, this is quite impossible because Excel on cloud has got severe limitations regarding the amount of memory, etc., because of which it cannot solve very basic problems with solver. So while we will see the demonstration in Excel on cloud, however, you will need to utilize Excel on your desktops to be able to get solutions for real problems. You can notice that the solution is getting evolved and it is calculating the durations and they are in decimals. Because they are in decimals, we have taken the ceiling so that we get round figures. So still the problem solution is being worked out. So while we wait for the solution to evolve, we can recall what all we did in our linear programming understanding. So linear programming, basically I will have an objective function which can be to minimize or maximize. And then I will have constraints under which I will try to solve the problem. So there we have our solution now. So let's work out a solution that the minimum duration possible is 13 weeks. And we will incur a cost of $91,000 if we have to reduce the duration to a minimum of 13 weeks. So there you see that it has calculated that I can finish activity in three weeks, activity B in six weeks, and so on. So still we have two activities which have got slack, that is B and D. So these two activities will be outside of our critical path. The remaining, we know that our normal critical path is A, C, E, F. So that is what we can get. However, notice that we have incurred a cost of $91,000 in trying to crash the project to 13 weeks. Now supposing my management tells me that I can give you maximum $50,000 to crash the project. So I can put another constraint here. I can say maximum crash budget. Maximum crash budget is equal to $50,000. So I put this constraint. Okay, now let us alter our linear programming problem. We will add one more constraint now saying that the crash cost should be less than or equal to the maximum budget which is allowable to us that is here so i will add this constraint now let us solve the problem under this constraint and see whether we get a different solution so again we will ask solver to solve this problem for us it will take some time we know that so let it solve it we have to wait for the solution to come because this amount of time it will take depends on the kind of machine you have if you have a very fast machine it can work very fast my machine is reasonably big it has got about 32 gb of ram uh, however it still takes this much amount of time 
So if you are working on a smaller machine, be aware that Excel may not be able to sometimes solve your problem also because it may run out of memory, etc. So you require a reasonable sized machine to be able to work with solver. And these are pretty heavy problems. So uh, it requires a big machine. So it seems to have found a solution. So it finds a solution where it can finish the project in 22 weeks and at a cost of $50,000. So you notice that it is crashing the activities A, C, D, and E, and leaving activities B and D unchanged. So, and we can achieve a crash cost of $50,000. So you can see that doing it manually is quite difficult to achieve solutions like this. So we require linear programming and Excel is a tool which can help us in solving these linear programming problems. Now, let us complicate the problem a little bit more. So we go to a second case where I say that while the project is going on, the project is normally going to take 36 weeks. That's what we know, that it is going to take 36 weeks. And uh, But we say that if we, for every week that the project is going on, we are losing $3,500. So now I want to crash the project such that my loss is the minimum. I should occur, incur min minimum amount of loss and yet complete the project in the shortest possible time. So I've added one constraint to this particular problem. So I want to now solve this problem. So let us just freeze. Okay, so now let us set up the linear programming problem once again for us. So I go to solver and I say my objective function is here and I want to maximize the net effect of crashing. Net effect of crashing is basically the amount of loss that I have saved minus the crash cost. So this net effect of crashing should be the highest possible after crashing my network. And I add my constraints now. The constraints are the same what we have done previously. So here I say that the crash duration should be less than or equal to the normal duration and the crash duration should be greater than or equal to the minimum duration. So I have to do this for all the six activities. So this requires a little bit of patience and a little bit of time to set up the linear programming problem. Greater than or equal to minimum duration. Then I go to activity D. This is got to be less than or equal to the normal duration and greater than or equal to the minimum duration. So we are left with activity E and F. So I do it for E now. Last, we have to do it for F. Now let's just verify. So we have G, all the G's here. And we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have set up our problem. So now let us ask solver to solve it. I choose the method as evolutionary and I say solve. So now solver is setting up the problem. This will take some time. So let us wait and see what it goes through. It has started solving now.
So this time what we're trying to do is that we're trying to maximize the impact of crashing. So we want the duration in which we will have saved the maximum amount of loss from crashing our project. So there we have our solution. So according to the solution, if we complete the project in 25 weeks, we may save a loss of $38,500, incurring a crash cost of $30,500. So this decision could be taken that we can complete the project in 25 weeks and have a net impact of crashing of $8,000. From this demonstration, I hope you'd have realized that there are a lot of project scheduling problems which we cannot solve using tools like Microsoft Project or Primavera or things like that. So we require mathematics to solve these problems. And one of the ways to solve these problems is using Excel and applying linear programming problems to solutions for them.